What's going on, everybody? We're back with more 0312 cube. And uh, we're going to hope to do a little bit better. We're not giving up yet. We gave Modern Cube a fair chance. Tried to learn it. I think we did pretty well toward the end. And uh, you're starting the stream like right before I got to go to work. All right, I'll get out of here. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out. Got him. I have no idea what to pick here. I want to pick Adonis Climb. I think it's I think it's really good. But I don't want to go blue-green for the third time and go 1, 2, 0, 3. So, you know. Uh, I, unfortunately, I don't think there's any great cards in this pack. Phyrexian Scripture seems fine. Yes, I do think I'm going to do an Among Us stream again. I don't know when, though. Could just take Sylvan Carry added? I'm just going to take Phyrexian Scriptures. This has got to be decent, right? Drana seems pretty good. Destroy all non-artifact creatures, too. We can work with that. Quarantine Field seems fine. <clears throat> yeah, I can see Drana. I can also see Heartless Act. Heartless Act does seem a little weaker, though, because counters... Personality. Yeah, dance is wonderful, so that makes sense. Um, this card seems really good. I'm gonna take the drama. I don't need to be white right now. Oh, parasitic Strix. What if we're blue-black? Also, Triskelion is pretty sweet. Let's take a Triskelion and hope the Parasitic Strix comes back. Godless Shrine. Skyclave Shade? Two mana for 3 1. Can't block, sure. If it was kick, it gets two counters, so five. Remember a lantern's battlefield. If it's not in your graveyard, if it's your turn, you may cast it from your graveyard this turn. This is good. And I'm going to take it. <clears throat> Serrated Arrows is cute. I just think for four mana, I'm just not. It's not really where I want to be. Maybe Dusk Urchins is fine. I'm just keeping with the black. Mignissa, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. I appreciate you. I'm going to take Dusk Urchins. Fetid Heath keeps us open. Carrion Feeder is pretty interesting. Huh. Yeah, let's take Carrion Feeder. <clears throat> that guy can fuel things. Thank you. Oh, not the plague. What up, my dude? Welcome back. Welcome back. It's always reassuring to know you're not the plague. I'm like, are you the plague? Oh, you're not. That's good comforting thank you matt with numbers thank you for the resub i'm getting better at remembering to resub that's i appreciate that um at last my love will come along 
I think it's either Angrath or Unlicensed Disintegration. Unlicensed puts us in red. Angrath does not. Um, hmm. <laughs> Only the Plague in Among Us. Yeah, I want to try Angrath. Let's see what happens here. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what direction we're going. <clears throat> oh, there's a... Oh, that's a shoe. I thought it was Watson. It was just a shoe. I'm going to take Sphere of the Suns. Sphere of the Suns is nice. I like ramp. Blood Bloodthorn Vampire is fine, but we don't have a... Money, money, money. I mean, Turing Mauler is actually pretty strong. Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just try the black red. Fire, fire fretwork colony doesn't seem great. Fire, fire fretwork colony. Uh, I don't want that many creatures that can't block. This guy can't block. This guy can't block. Oh, and now we get the rekindling phoenix, which is just good. It's just a good creature. Uh, Minotaur, flip a coin. Whenever you flip a coin, it deals one damage to any target. Whenever you lose a coin flip, it deals one damage to a target. Of, oh, okay, that's terrible. Parasitic Strix did come back. <clears throat> Which leaves me wonder... Oh, interesting. Actually, maybe Crawling, Bar Crawling Barons is decent. Yeah, let's take the Baron. Uh, yeah, let's take the Barons. I don't understand. Sure. Um, <clears throat> so I think our blue and our red is both an option blue letting us take more artifacts uh stone cold serpent could be the pick here it doesn't really play to either also sunken runes if we are going to be blue all right i gotta head to the sandwich mines super fritz have a good day at work buddy i appreciate you i'm just gonna take stone cold i think it's <clears throat> probably the most versatile it's gonna go in either archetype we pick whenever an equipped creature attacks put a one-on counter on it that's interesting Huh. Galvanic Blast. Cascade Bluffs might let us play three colors. Is that super greedy? We also have Sphere of the Suns, which could do the same. Hmm. I don't think it's Poisoner. I don't think it's Blood Soak Champion. And it could just be Galvanic Blast. We could just disregard the Parasitic Strix, but I think Parasitic Strix is good. I'm going to take the Blast. Ugh, now we get a Creeping Tar Pit. And a Volcanic Island? Oh, biscuits. No Black Red Land, though, right? Uh, you may turn an Island permanent to, its, to the... You control to its owner's hand and put a counter on this guy so this is a four three for four and we get to return a permanent so it's actually not bad if you're returning like sphere or we don't have a lot of great things for that hmm this is actually really tricky i actually have no idea what i'm doing right now I'm going to take the Tar Pit, because I don't think anything in that pack was actually super compelling. Deep Glow Skate. Double the number of each kind of counter any number of permanents. So it works with Triskelion, Stone Coil, Angrath. Um, Mauler. Yeah, I'm actually taking the Deep Glow. I think it's actually pretty decent in our deck. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm actually doing right now. Me going into every draft format. 
Flesh Carver seems great. This is a 2-2 two, two for 2. When it dies, you create an XX where X is flesh is power. So it's like, it's basically Rot, rot Lung Reanimator. Except you can sack a creature to put two counters on it, which is pretty sweet. This guy seems very, very good. Uh, we will be doing some stream rating. I'll do some after this, after the draft portion. Tragic Slip is good? Oh, Priest of Forgotten God seems good, right? I don't know if we have enough creatures for it, though. Hmm. It could be Vivid Crag, just because it's, uh... It could be Tezzeret's Gambit, too. I like Tezzeret's Gambit a lot. Let's take Tezzeret's Gambit. Oh, Lava Claw Reaches? That seems good. I actually like Dark Fleet Hoarder. It's just a two drop that fixes your mana when it dies. Let's turn face up counter all abilities your opponent's control. That's interesting. Fry's Carver. That sounds delicious. Ooh, Cascade Bluffs came back? Maybe the Volcanic will come back too. I think it was in this pack, so. Not looking great. Artifact becomes a 5-5. Five, five. I don't think we have enough for that. Do we have enough for this? Probably not. I'll just take the Cruel Sadist. Whenever a non-token artifact you control is put into a graveyard, create a 1-1. One, one. Oh, and you said Fry's Craver. Is that a joke? Because there's no way you intentionally typed it that way, right? I'm taking Vish Call because we have enough with, like, Sphere of the Suns to, like, maybe splash one, one white. And none of his abilities are white-based. And we also have the this guy who makes it makes a treasure so lava clock tar pit and cascade bluffs is pretty decent this is also not really blue so we only have like two blue cards right now what about a foodie and slip that seems too easy right uh kalidus just seems very very good so this Coalition Relic. I don't think we're a Blood Artist deck. I actually have no idea what we are, to be honest. I think it's either Kalidus or Coalition Relic. This can also be a 3-drop. Oh, God. More Grixis, obviously. Yeah, I, I I guess it should have been more obvious to me. I think it's Kalidus. I don't think so. I think it's got to be Coalition Relic. Coalition Relic's like... It's almost like power, to be honest. Like, it's... I know that sounds super weird, but... Contagion Engine seems pretty bananas, right? I'm taking Contagion Engine. That thing, that thing seems nuts. Plus you get two proliferates out of the activation. Come on. Misty's great, but we don't have anything to, fe to fetch. Badlands is the pick for sure. Yeah, nothing in here is super compelling. I, I would like to try Myriad Construct. But we're going to take... There are some poison shenanigans, I, I assume. Fiery Confluence. I mean, that's just a solid card. I feel like if there's cards that are fucking bananas in the Vintage Cube, then you just take them. 
Does that seem okay? Walking Ballista also real good? Jeez. I think it's got to be Fire to Confluence, right? I really like Kazmina. I think she's a great planeswalker. The plateau, ironically, could allow us to play Vishkal. Which I, especially with Coalition Relic, I don't think that's actually that out of the question. I think that's actually pretty good. And we have 20, we already have 23, at least 23 playables. Like we could play Witching Well, we could play Spire Golem maybe. What is it doing to bananas? I'll never tell. Fabled Passage. Metallic Mimic, we don't really have a, a creature theme. Hex Mage is fine. I think it's just Fabled Passage here. Underworld Rage Hound. Eh, Relic Runner could be okay. Mm. I don't. I, I really kind of want to limit my blue cards. We only have technically two and maybe two and a half blue cards here, so. Thank you. Crystal Line Crawler. Whoa, whoa. Rylos with a gifted sub, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You're the hero we need. It enters the battlefield with a 1 1 counter for each color of mana spent to cast. Remove 1 1 counter, add 1 mana, put a 1 1 counter on it. This guy seems okay. I mean, it's just going to be like, at most, it's going to be a 4 4 in our deck. For 4, that adds mana. Eh, and it's like you don't have to actually tap it to add, remove the mana. So you can actually tap it to add a mana. Or add a counter, then remove a counter. That's interesting. I think it's either that or Shrapnel Blast, but I don't think we're artifact heavy to Shrapnel Blast yet. I know what I know what the Slith does. Uh, what does this make a one one? This is just Mortar Pod, right? Hmm. I don't want double blue guy. Guy. I think it's actually Blood Chief's Thirst is fine. I didn't even, I actually kind of overlooked it because it was a new card and I was like, what is this card? What does this card do? I don't know what's going on with this deck. It could be terrible. It's probably terrible. I, I feel like our synergy is lacking a little bit, but. Um... I'm just going to take Charger here. Mu Yanling seems pretty good, especially with Proliferate. So does this guy, though. I actually kind of like Gul'dra's Assassin. Plus, again, we're sticking with the fact that we don't want that many double blue cards. Empowered Auto Generator is very, very similar to Crystalline Crawler, I think. Plus, we don't have any real X spells except for Stone Coil Serpent. Just take Beetle. Actually, Doom Dissenter is fine. We can use another two drop. I'm actually pretty okay with that. Yeah, all right. Two one for two. Sacrifice another creature. Put a one one counter on it. Sure. Sure. Winding Constrictor last pick. Wow, that's pretty weird. 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 That's pretty weird. No idea what I was saying there. Mm-hmm. 
Sly Requisitioner, non-token artifacts. I don't think we have enough to really take advantage of that. I want to put you in the five slot because I don't love casting you at three. Flesh Carver is good. All these are good. Did you vote already and in which state? Not yet, I'm waiting on my ballot and in Colorado I will be voting. Throne of Geth, you gotta go. I don't think we want Cruel Sadist and Gul'draz. Just another manic Monday, whoa, whoa. Everything else is good. I, I guess Crystalline Crawler is kinda meh. Can you guys explain to me what the difference between Sunburst and Converge is? I like what... Oh, I kind of want the Vish Call in here. Like, we have so much. We have Coalition Relics, Fear of the Suns, uh, Plateau, Failed Passage if we had a white. I don't know if we will. And Dire Fleet. Look, we have like five white sources. I don't think there is a command for Stream Raiders. Uh, we need two cuts now still. Biscuits. I don't know if I want fire, Fiery Phyrexian... Fiery, I'm like Fiery Fiery Phyrexian Scriptures. Um... We don't have enough artifact creatures to really feel like we're getting a great deal out of it. Oh, converges different abilities, whereas Sunburst is always counters. Interesting. So why don't they just give this Sunburst then? Right? Like, that's the same thing, right? Like, this is Sunburst. They're just calling it Converge. Like, that seems more confusing. Because not all new players know what Sunburst is because it wasn't in that set. Bah. Okay, well, this is a commander card, so I assume commander players are not just opening a pack of commander cards and just, you know, never having any experience with it. And if they are, they don't know any more about Converge than they do about Sunburst, so. Shut up, nerds. Got them. God, one cut, huh? Carrion Feeder. Actually, Carrion Feeder seems like trash here. We are not a carrying feeder deck, and now we got to play Vish Call too. Plus, I really like that we only have like two actual blue mana cards in our deck. Tezzeret Scan, but you are not. You are barely blue, buddy. Come on. Just another Manic Monday. So, if we had one island, we have one, two, three, four. I'm probably going to add two islands. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can definitely go to eight here. And probably just had one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I like I kinda like adding one planes just to be filled with passage for it. Is that terrible? Sunburst is on zero zero only. What is this Oh, it's a one one. They made it a one one. I guess you can just play it for... Why? Like, but... Can't you make this? I guess... I don't understand. Like, you could make this a 0-0, zero, zero, right? Very easily you could make it a 0-0. Zero, zero. Because if you're ever casting this for 4 mana, which is what it costs, you're always going to spend at least 1 color mana, unless you spend 4 colorless mana. In which case, it's a 1-1, one, one, and it doesn't do anything when it comes into play other than put a counter on itself the next turn. So... You know, it just I, I feel like it. I feel like instead of putting converge on here, which is a more obscure, less specific mechanic, you can put sunburst on here, which is the exact thing that it's doing essentially, and just make it a zero zero. But you know, what do I know? So let's let's just double check here. One, two, three, four, five. This is five blue sources plus we have sphere and coalition, which help everything. 
So technically seven. White sources, we have one, two, three, four, five. Seems good for one Vish call. Excuse me. Uh, black, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, this seems great. All right, let's save this and play it. This could this deck could be terrible. They design converge because they want to have cards pay you off in other ways other than just putting charge counters or one-on-one -on -one counters on something. No, I agree with you. I think converge and I'm not saying converge and sunburst can't exist together. I'm saying if a card just does what sunburst does, just call it sunburst. You know what I mean? Like they don't have to like. Because now you have a card that's like, it's, it's like horsemanship and flying, right? Like let's call it flying. Oh, Hoss Mania with the Epic Musketeer. Nice. Um, yeah, this hand seems fine. Too many three drops, but I'll deal with it. There's another... Oh, that's gonna be... That's gonna be a problem. That's... That's not ideal. Yep. Oh, good. Oh, just... Just wonderful. What? They did attack! Oh, baby. Alright, well, I guess we're taking five here. Toronto seems good. I wish they gave you a 32 minutes for about... Why? Yep. This this is a... Look at this fucking class. This is a class act here. This is the exact hand I expect to face off against when I don't have a play until turn three. Always a pleasure. a lot of things they have here so we could blood chief's thirst and play flesh carver oh man you guys are great Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, next turn we can play Vish Call if we actually survive this turn. Like, we can go Relic, Blood Chief's Thirst of this guy. Chump here, take three, four, five, six. You die? Okay. I mean, like, what do we have? Badger, what's going on, my dude? I think this guy has to go. It's it has the the most power that we can actually kill. This guy's also a three, but this guy could be a four. So ugh. If we jump here, they put a counter on this. We take five, and then they shoot us for two. Right. So we just have to like play this. I don't like it. Just then. I just woke up. Actually, no. I just got out of bed. I lied. In truth, I've been awake for a little bit. I mean, I'm just double blocking this. And then they get Pelt Collector back. Yeah, this this is the like this is the most insane draw I've ever seen. Like. One drop, two drop, three drop, walking ballista, sure. Yep, 
Yep, get back your pelt collector. I hope they accidentally click walking ballista thing. It'll be a 2-2 two -two or a 1-1. One -one. Something, something. So if we block here, we take 3-4. So we're not dead. But we're not living our best life either, so... You voted yet? Not yet. I'm waiting for my ballot. And uh, so that's the second time someone asked me today. That's fascinating. Wow. See, I think we're probably bringing in Phyrexian scriptures now. I mean, this this is impossible to beat. They just get a free creature back every turn, and like, <sighs> yep. This cube just—I mean, maybe it's me. This cube just does not seem balanced. Take Charger out here. More like broliferate cube. Are, are, are you right? I don't know, actually. Uh, yeah, this seems good. This seems great. What happened with that peanut butter whiskey? I literally could not find a site that would deliver internationally. Not one single site. And I googled it for like two straight hours. Every like vendor that had any sort of, of whiskey. I could not find a way to get it to you. Right now, I'm thinking maybe if I found a place in Australia to send it within Australia, that might work. Not so. That was okay. So that's good then. That's good because I look like everything. I could. I can. I couldn't find it in a ton of sites because it seems like it's a very like specific kind of whiskey. But like there were like maybe four or five sites that had a a type of peanut butter whiskey and like none of them sent it. They they would none of them would ship it internationally. And I was like, okay, cool. I use a website to forward things that won't ship it. That's interesting. Oh, good. I just lost my two guys because I forgot walking ballistic and just shoot my other blocker. Seems good. Remember that time I was like, this is a really good hand. And then I was like, oh, wait, I'm getting crushed. Parcel, P A R C L. I'm looking at it right now. That's my fun day. That's interesting. I've never even heard of this site. Is that a thing from another dimension? Never heard of it in my whole life. <laughs> Oh, boy. I thought this deck was sweet. Turns out it's trash again. One, two, three, four, five, six. How come a lot of companies won't ship to Australia? Is it just the price thing? Is it just the distance? Or is there like a specific thing going on 
in Australia that like prevents Is it because you guys used to be a penal colony? That would make sense. Freight costs are just... I mean, it makes sense. You guys are very, very... I mean, Australia actually is seems very far out of the way for, like, most uh, centralized areas. You know, like Europe, Asia, U.S., Yep, that's a that's a four four. I thought it was a six six. I thought this guy doubled. He only just puts one extra. That's my fun day. Just another manic man. So this is gonna be five three four five six seven, and we're just triple blocking it. Right? They can't kill any one thing. Meanwhile, they have four four five four one one walking ballista that gets two counters from this guy. It's a whole to do. Double all my counters. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, this is going to be bananas. Uh, we can double the counters on this. And... That, yep, that's it. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. We're so dumb about rolls for shipping alcohol. Buddy, you ain't kidding. And they still have three cards. They still have two more cards than us, which is just unbelievable. Plus two clues. I don't know. I feel like this is just... I, I feel like I'm just going to draft this cube for as long as I can in order to embarrass myself as much as I possibly can. Because the fundamental lack of understanding I have about this cube is just mind-blowing to me. Alright. Well, that's fascinating, but... I'm not gonna, I can't I can't stop you from doing that so shop wine direct do they do they ship to Australia they're in California uh, shipping. We can ship to limited zip codes in Arizona, Connecticut. We cannot ship to Michigan. Okay. Um, we are only able to... I, I'm pretty sure I looked at this site, and I don't think... Hmm. I don't see anywhere where it ships internationally. But maybe, I mean, I, I don't know. What, about, what do I know? Two, three. They can't play both. So, might as well just play this guy, I guess. I'm choosing every permanent I own. I just don't see how I win this game. Interesting. Badger, do you still want this? Because I'll send it to you tonight. Or, you know, when it, oh, good. Good, good, good. Give all these creatures lifelink. Oh, fantastic. Just fantastic. If you were seeing this message, unfortunately, we we're unable to ship wine and her spirit steel. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. That was pretty much my experience as well. Um, which is funny because, yeah, they probably just have a generic sh uh, checkout page where, like, you you can enter pretty much any address, but it's not going to let you actually ship. 
except to certain addresses. So they just get this guy back every single turn, right? They can crack one clue, but they can also shoot... They're going to shoot this... Eh, if they shoot that guy, it's kind of fine, I guess. This is just so overwhelming. I just feel like I can't win here. Either they're getting ga they're getting guys back with Soren, or they're getting guys back with Marin of Clan Neltoth. Like, it's just... Arctic Avenger with the gifted sub to RPG Burger. Delicious. <laughs> just Delicious. Badger, I even considered just buying it and having it sent to me and then shipping it to you, but I wasn't sure if I could even ship alcohol. Especially internationally. I don't know if there's, like, customs or... Like... See, see, and you say you can, but then Baron says you can't, so I'm just like, I don't know what to believe. Wait, what happened? Did they try to get back... What did they get back? Did they try to get back their walking ballista? Because that's kind of cool. Even though I drew a mountain and I have a 2-2 on board. Yep, this, these games have been a blast. I feel way, 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 way... Way competitive in this cube. Oh, two. Nice. Alright. I mean, I don't know. Like, this deck looked... If you import alcoholic beverages by mail with a value of a uh, thousand or less, which, yeah, that seems... We will send you an invoice advising the duty and taxes payable. You need to pay this invoice before your goods will be delivered to you. If the goods have a value of over a thousand, you must lodge an import declaration if you choose not to pay for the duty. And the alcohol price is very apparent. The goods may return to sender. Dude, mail is so confusing. If I were to look at this deck and I would be like, oh, this is a pretty decent looking cube deck. But then I play it and I'm like, wow, this this deck is the worst deck I've ever drafted. And I don't actually, I can't like, my brain isn't able to comprehend like why that is, like what's making it that way. And it's, that I think that's the most frustrating part. Is that like, I'm not like, oh, I see, I shouldn't have had this card in there. Or this card's not as good as I think it is. Or like, like there's just no connection between what I'm doing wrong in the drafting portion and like how the games are playing out. And it's kind of tripping me out here. Just another magic Monday. Whoa, whoa. That's a 3-3. Three, three. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 mana next turn. Play old Ghoul Draz. Okay, US UPS FedEx may have relaxed the rules. UPS definitely has not. So how do I do this epic thing? I don't know what you're asking me right now, Love and Crafty. I don't know what you're saying. I have six mana and they're doing more impressive things with two mana and I just don't like that's where I'm like uh but what I got a I got a cool thing how much does it cost to level up to four eight mana one two three four five six we're not there yet For UPS, alcohol shipping license, all shippers of alcohol must be licensed and authorized to ship according to the applicable federal and state laws and regulations. See, that's what I mean. When you're like, oh, that's confusing. I don't know what to do. So, Badger, I think, I think the confusion here is that I think they do deliver there. But as a sender, I would have to, like, fulfill some sort of criteria.
which is weird and complicated. Dude, I just want to send my friends some freaking peanut butter whiskey for crying out loud. Why is this so hard? <laughs> I'm going to check out, I'll check out Parcel tonight and see if that's easier. Is there an artifact? What? I mean, this is a fine, this is a two for one, right? Just label it spaghetti. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, it's just spaghetti for my friend. Just a good old American spaghetti. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can put two counters on this guy. Better label, not drugs. <laughs> Is this drugs? Uh, check the label, sir. Clearly not drugs. Oh yeah, we got a big old cube. We got a big old Stream Raiders cube of guys here. Um... Yeah, I think we're just going to play sweet sweet baby bird here. They're always like, which opponent would you like to deal the damage to? Oh, you know. Are we winning in the draft? No. In this game? I think so. Okay. Grumgully's actually great. I will take three. Relaxing, Sam. Sammy, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you. 100 winning bits. And really, that's all you could ask for. Level it up. Level it up. Break me off a piece of that. Leveling up. I'm just going to pass here. At 13, I don't want to take any risks. We can easily block Abbot of Carol Keep unless they play two spells. Another PB at the gym yesterday, so next Friday is the big 200. I've been keeping up with your Facebook progress. <laughs> Whenever it deals damage to a player from one, yeah, right, that guy's not getting through. And I'm just going to slowly, slowly wipe out your team here. Badger, your gains are pretty insane, dude. Plus three, plus three. And has at the beginning of your upkeep put a 1-1 one, one counter on this creature. I got to try, right? Okay, we did it. The Barry Gibb theme? I don't know what that is. It's a, little, it's a Kid Cat song, man. I mean, seven seems okay when they have one card in hand and we have a guy that just machine guns their team. Come on, Vish Call one time. Okay, I'll take Tezzeret's Gambit. Break me off a piece of that fancy feast. Oh, 
Also, it's funny because I have to translate your your gains into pounds because I'm a stupid American. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, 200, huh? Hold on, let me do a quick uh, conversion. Um, I, we're just going to pay the four. We have one, two, three, four, five mana anyway. Yeah, 440 pounds sounds much more impressive. I agree. So I'm like, just double it. It sounds better. Proliferate on you, you, and there's no counter on that. One, two, three, four. Five. I think we just make a 6-6 six, six here. I'll actually make a 5-5 five, five and keep up a black. That seems good. One... Two, three, four, five. Holy crap, that's a lot of weight. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. We're gonna let that resolve because it doesn't put it oh this guy makes it no that guy that gets it's fine because this is just gonna be a 4-4 four, four if they attack so oh we just win the game okay that's a good uh not the plague i did see your discord message um i'm not sure I have actually wanted to start my own D&D podcast, to be honest with you. And I think that'd be pretty cool to do. I've never done it. I've never even played D&D before. That's why I'm kind of reluctant, because I'm like, oh, we just win the whole match. Seems good. So this is how our matches go. Either we actually crush our... I feel like all of my games in this queue have been so lopsided. Like, either my opponent has an amazing aggressive curve that just crushes me, and we just dirtle around trying to play mid-range stuff. Or, like... Or like our or 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 our or, or our opponent that you know the, the reverse happens. So, all right, let's see if we can two one for the first time. Even though the second round was kind of nothing, and the first round was kind of also nothing. I tried to draw, but I can't remember my Twitch password. I haven't signed in manually for almost a year. Wow. Good gravy, Monster. I use a password app to prevent just such a thing. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll snap keep this hand. This hand seems great if we can hit a third or fourth land. Well, I also haven't updated my cube for several of the newer sets, and the reason being is that, like, what's the point? <laughs> I can't play. It's not like I could, it's not like I can cube with people right now, so. Oh, I'm definitely bloodthirsting this idiot before I have to deal with it again. Or we can level this guy up. Yeah, we're leveling up here.
Okay. Come on, Black Source. Give me a third land, don't screw me over. That's not it, thanks for nothing, you little biscuit. Yep, I'm just going to kill this guy and attack. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Badger, I can see a Zendikar playset being kind of difficult to sell. I, I imagine people just want the just want the good stuff, you know. What happened? What did they do? Uh oh, they played Greenbelt Rampager. Uh oh, to get the energy. Got it, got it, got it. Well, I guess I'll play this. Because that's the best we can do. They want the lands and that's it. Yeah, that's literally right. There's a couple other cards I think that are fine, but yeah, obviously the fetch lands are going to command the premium. Man, I love these love these streamer strats you guys are talking. Okay, see now we're looking better. So now I can do one of these jobbies. And probably just kill you, right? Why the hell did Judge Promo Guys create a double in price last month? Because all Guys Kratos doubled in price. Swamp. That's like the opposite of the card I want, but I guess that's okay. Anyone want to buy a Scars of Mirrod and playset? Badger, why do you have all these playsets? <laughs> I guess because you used to play Magic. Yep, that's pretty good. I will block. Dang it. Planes. Thank you. This one black is really holding us up. Irk, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. I'm just going to get in there. It's got enough reach, right? Okay. So much for wanting to rebuild elves one day. Yeah, guys, cradles, uh, it's a thing, all right. How's the proliferate cube been going? It's been something all right. <sighs> Six three, huh? Fiery Confluence, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can put them to we can put them to two. We could also deal two to all creatures to get rid of the primordial hydra, which might be a problem. And then we can play Skyclave Shade after that.
Or we can just play this guy, actually. And then we take 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We go to... Th oh, I guess we die to crawling barons, don't we? Actually, we can play Shatter Skull Charger for 5. This puts them to 9 and then they're dead to... Yeah, let's try that. I was thinking if you do the podcast, we could have you and two others be the party members, and I DM every so often we could have guests from the stream show up as traveling characters. Is this triple red? Okay, hold on. No, it's not triple red. That's weird, because I thought I did red from here, but... Let's see if they want to block. they don't they want to go to five so this is 12 but this guy does not have trample yet so that's good for us Ooh, seems fine. Joined on my PC, stolen on my password. <laughs> Good lord, man. I mean, you can always change it. Like, that's always an option, right? They're tapped out right now? They're dead, right? None of these guys have reach. I mean, we can just fire your confluence then. For a bazillion. Just the non-trampler. None of them. Just this guy. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Just this guy. Okay. I'll chump block because I don't. Wanna, I think. I think the cost of taking eight is is higher than the. Cast two damage to each opponent. Man, fire confluence is a hell of a drug. Nineteen minutes, guys, until the battle is waged. I'm gonna. They got a bunch of big green idiots. Let's bring in scriptures. Actually, that seems good. Take out the sh actually shades a two drop that does put some pressure on them. So is that that guy can actually block? Um, I'm gonna submit forty one. I have two mana rocks. I don't feel terrible about it. Oh, someone just joined Mana Traders. Definitely check out manatraders.com. You'll get 15% uh, off the first three months of any subscription. And it's a great way to rent or borrow Magic Online cards. Uh, any cards you want. Pioneer, Modern, Standard, Historic. You can play whatever you want. And they have an awesome service. Everyone who's who's used it has been like, yeah, this is Mana Traders is great. So give them a try. Use the link and promo code down below. Yeah, like right there, Baron von Vaerham. Love it so far. Definitely renewing. Yeah, they have a they have a sweet service, and their customer service is great too. They've always been really responsive for me.
Well, that's pretty good. Get your evolve on, and you can make a little gentleman. And Grath. Hmm. Well, is this permanent? Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. I mean, if I attack, they just block. I don't think that does anything, really. I mean, like, if I attack, though, they're just going to steal it, right? Like, that's... Fascinating. Yep, there we go. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yep, turn too late. Well, otherwise they still they're gonna steal it anyway. Like it doesn't change them stealing it. I'm just forcing the issue really. If they block, we get a clue. Yeah, but they're not going to block. <laughs> like, just steal it. You know, so it's like, I mean, we know that's never going to happen. That's a treasure, right? Not a clue. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't, like, that stuff, that stuff like that never, like, plays out, like, I mean, it's always like, well, what if they do, but, like, I mean, the percentage is so small, and, like, it's kind of, like, doing a disservice to your opponent to be like, maybe they don't see it, they probably see it, one, two, three, four, five, six, shoot you for two, shoot you for one, block here, make a guy, I guess. How are we doing? 46 allies? I like it. I like it. I don't want you to flip this, so... Sh sure. I don't know what that does. In response! Uh, Alright, you got it.
So three, four, one, two, three, four. We get three, three. Why don't any of these things have death touch? Like four, four doesn't do anything. One, two, three, four, five. Like a five, five. Three, four, five, or seven mana. I feel like this one Simic Manipulator was really the key. Like, being able to steal one of our, our blockers. Block here. Yeah, we have to block both of these is the problem. So like, like we can make a three three and a one one. We can chump block one and, and no, it just doesn't matter. Like the trample makes it completely irrelevant. I actually wonder if Crystalline Crawler is just better than Angrath here. Like, it's at least a 3-3 in most situations. Maybe a 4-4 four, four if we have, like, a Sphere out. Sure. And this has all our colors. It has a Drana. It has a way to draw some cards. Maybe we can hit a 2-drop. Or even a 1-drop. Kind of like a two drop. Actually, we are going to play this because next turn we play Drana and then we can Tezzeret's Gambit onto everything. Mm hmm. Two seems good. Oh, no blocks at all. Oh, that's great for us. Wow, we're not even gonna we're gonna we're gonna post combat gambit here. So Drana hits first. This guy gets a counter. Yeah, let's do that. pretty good. We could take five here, and then we have Fiery Confluence still as well. Yep, that's good. We can deal three to all creatures here, and our, both our guys survive. Oh, that's insane. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe that's not what we're doing. Makes Drana a six and Stone Coil an eight. Stone Coil attacks for nine, though. Your deck is doing the thing this time. I know, I'm watching it happen. It feels good. Yeah, we have 62 guys on the board. I feel like we're actually pretty good in this... Uh, in this boss battle over at Stream Raiders. Um, 
So this is an 8, and this is a 6. 8 plus 6. This goes up to 9 after combat, or before damage. So 9 and 6, that's 15. That's exactly what they have to block. And then we take 5. I think it's just deep glow, glow skate here, because it, it gives us a blocker. Yeah, that turn 2 Stone Cold Servant was, was probably MVP. Yeah, so now they're just dead to Fiery Confluence. They can't... I, I doubt they can deal 12, and we still have uh, a blocker, so... Oh, man, 2-1. Our first 2-1, presumably? Because even if they wipe our board somehow, like, we still have Fiery Confluence. And I think we just won. Oh, my God. Feels good. Feels Batman. No, good man. Good man. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at manatraders.com. NordVPN still has their deal running where you get 68% off a two-year subscription along with one month free. It's a great deal. It's a great way to support the channel. If you guys are looking for a VPN, if you need a way to hide your internet footprints or you want to unlock some region lock content, definitely check out nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.